Hey, what's up guys? Today is April 2nd, 2021, and in front of me I have a 2018 Panini FIFA World Cup Russia uh, sticker blister pack. There are 10 uh, official packs in here, sealed and everything. And uh, this blister pack, I believe, is the Mexican version from Mexico. Um, 140 pesos will translate to about, you know, six, seven dollars right now. Um, and that makes sense for at the time. So you get 10 packs for under ten dollars, under dollar pack, which is pretty good nowadays. Uh, of course, we're hunting for the Mbappe. And I just want to open this uh, because I want to rip some stuff and uh, also try to complete my uh, 2018 uh, sticker collection because I actually have an album that I started and is half complete by now. So I just want to show you guys if the packs were normal and everything uh, in these uh, Mexican blister packs as well. Uh, I got these for about $4 uh, a blister pack. I bought 10 of them off some guy. Uh, so the bottom of the 10 packs are all stapled together, as you guys can see there. But uh, hopefully that doesn't affect the stickers at all, which I don't think it will. So let's start with the first pack. So you get 50 stickers per blister pack. All right, let's get started. So we got Pelos, Wabi Crosby, Pinocchio, Jorgensen, and a host city, Volgrad. All right, moving on. So you peel the packs off of each other that are stapled at the bottom, I guess, which makes sense. But um, I'd rather them not stapled stickers because uh, of course it could damage, uh, I mean the packs, the sticker packs, because of course it could damage the cards. So that's all right though. And then some of the packs have this uh, golden shiny outside, and the other ones have a dull, darker color that is not shiny for the packaging. Not exactly sure why, but I think that's just some inconsistency. So far, these are well-centered, and they look regular. It's the black back. Um, nothing special, but we want the normal. So I just wanted to post this quick video, get some content out there. If you guys are curious about these uh, Mexican blister packs, which may show up in the future when uh, people are hunting down more packs before the uh, next World Cup in 2022. So, so far, nothing there. Moving on to our fifth pack. Kind of just flipping around everywhere. Luis Suarez, that is a nice one. Don't think I have his sticker yet. Uh, the set is about, I think, 630 something, I'm not sure. It's over 600, so to get a Mbappe, you have to open on average about 120 packs or more. Ooh, nice, back-to-back -back Uruguay players. Here are Tielemans, Pepe. Oh, I think we might have gotten an extra sticker, no. Uh, never mind, we did not. The Pepe's a bit damaged at the top. Can't tell the camera, but Eric Dyer after that. So we got a few more packs at hitting Mbappe. Can we do it? Again, stickers are a low-cost fun rip nowadays in this super inflated market of uh, sports cards. So if you can't afford hobby boxes, or even retail for that matter, which is getting quite expensive as well, or if you can't find retail, let alone that, then you might as well rip some sticker packs. These are also not a bad investment at all. As uh, 2004 Euro sticker packs have gone up a lot in value, and uh, I was able to cover the cost of my prism rips, or at least a couple of my prism rips so far, uh, just by buying and holding for a month or two and reselling the 2004 uh, Euro sticker packets, which I actually previewed 10 of them uh, open on camera for you guys. Uh, a couple weeks back. Nice, Lewandowski, Paulinho, Ali Gavar, and Zoe. So what I've seen in this, uh, these 10 packs so far, is uh, a couple of times where we have the same nationality player back to back. Uh, it's been happening more often in just this opening than regularly. I'm not sure if it's just like strange luck or anything, but uh, here's our last pack. Nice, we have a Germany team photo. Amrabat, Corona, and last one, Mbappe, Mbappe. Ooh, Matuidi, French player still. 
All right, so thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, this gave you an insight on these uh, Mexican blister packs. They're perfectly fine to open. You might get a couple damage stickers at most, but uh, for their cheap price, you get pretty good value. So, yeah. All right, guys, stay safe. Peace out, and I'll catch you next time.